my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for stopping by and listening to my video. If you like this video and you like what you're hearing, please like and subscribe and ring the bell to let you know whenever I put up a new video. I'd appreciate it so much and I hope you find this valuable. Today we're going to talk about what's the difference between a hotel room in Europe versus the United States because there are some differences and if you've never been to Europe it might take you off guard. So I just wanted to share with you some of the things. The first thing is most of the rooms are a lot smaller. Granted, you would be able to find a larger room in Italy, of course, especially if you are going to go to an American hotel that's in Europe. But most of the hotel rooms are smaller. Some of the rooms, even in nice hotels, only have room enough for a bed and a dresser. So you have to get used to the fact that you might have a smaller room. The other thing that's different is they don't have king size beds in Europe. And usually you have a single bed, single room, or a double room, which is called a doppio. But there's also this matrimonial room where they could push two twin beds together and make a king. And that's usually what I find a lot. If you're going to go to a hotel room and you want to get a king size bed, you're going to have two twin beds that are pushed together and made up as if it were a king size bed. And that is something different and unusual. And I have noticed in the past, although it's a little bit different, the pillows are a lot flatter. They're not as fluffy as what we're used to. So those are some things to look out for. The rooms are, are very different. The bathrooms are also different, you'll notice. When you go into the bathroom, there's always going to be a bidet. You'll have a toilet, you'll have a bidet, and you're not going to see a shower curtain. Most of the time, you're only going to see a half glass. And that's something to, you know, it's like, oh, but it works just fine. It's like a half glass um, with a tub or um, then if you're in a shower, sometimes they're those really small little compact showers that you could hardly move around. And a lot of the time they have handheld, very often they'll have handheld showers um, also, something that's very different in the in the bathrooms is that you're going to see a cord in the shower, and those are for emergencies only. So if you fell in the tub or if anything should happen in the tub, you pull that and the alarm would go off and someone would come to your rescue. So you don't want to do that unless you absolutely need someone to come in and rescue you in the restroom. Some other uh, differences in the bathrooms in a hotel room in Europe is that you're not going to find very often a plug where you can plug in anything. Uh, you know, the, what you can plug in is a razor. So they always have um, a little outlet where you can plug in your razor to shave um, because that doesn't pull a lot of current. Almost every room is going to have a built-in blow dryer for your hair. Now, the thing that is super important to pay attention to when you bring your hair appliances or you bring your plugs, whatever you need when you plug stuff in, is to make sure that the item that you have is able to go up to 230 volts. So, for example, let me show you. I love this round brush and it works super great. Whoops. And it works super great here in the United States, but it does not work in Europe. And uh, the reason is because on here you'll see this is 120 volts. VAC, which would be volts alternating current. And that's what we use here in the United States. We can use 120 VAC, 60 hertz. That's great for here. I've tried to bring this to Europe and use it, and it's just impossible. <laughs> but because I always have hair issues when I go to Europe, because, you know, the power is different, I can't use my appliances, I found... This very cool thing that I want to share with you. So I found this. It's a curling iron brush and it works so great. 
And on here, you can see that it is, this goes from 100 to 200 volts. And then this would work in a European um, outlet as long as you put in, and here you just put in the adapter so that it could fit into their, into their plug. And this will work great and it has worked great. I've already brought it with me and I love it. And I love it here as well. So you need to make sure that the power voltage works. Now, they do have power converters. So for example, if you wanted to bring that blow dry brush and it doesn't automatically convert to 240 or 230, I think all of Europe right now is around 230 from what I read. There are these converter boxes, but they're heavy. They don't work that great. And I don't recommend it. What I would do recommend is to make sure that you look at your appliance to make sure that it would work in Europe as well as here. Another thing that's different in the hotel in Europe as opposed to the United States is the way the floors are laid out. So when you go into the lobby, you're going to be at floor zero, ground zero right there. And so for us, we want to go to the second floor, which would be the floor above the lobby. Well, in Europe, Floor number one is the floor above the lobby. So you need to pay attention to that. So um, when you're in the elevator, and the elevators are usually very small and very narrow, um, and if they're, most hotels do have elevators, but there are some that don't, especially the older um, Airbnb or the older hotels that are in an old building, they might not have a working elevator but they have beautiful stairs. But most of the elevators are very small, very cramped. And um, so zero is the lobby. Minus one would be a floor below. Minus two would be two floors below. And one would be the floor above. And that's really important to know, especially if you're planning to walk the stairs, that you're going to walk an extra flight than you ordinarily would think. And the last thing is that there's always a tax that you pay in the hotel. So if you book a hotel and the room rate is X, you know, $100 a night, when you get to the hotel, you're going to have to pay a room tax in addition to what you paid. And so that's something that's very different. You have to pay the tax. And a lot of the times they want cash. Um, so that's something that's different. But I love being in the European hotels because I love staying in the city center and that's where you get all the action. And yes, there are, there's a lot of noise sometimes. So I try to make sure that I get an insulated window, but it's still so fun and it makes me long to go somewhere again. But, um, Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful and interesting. And if you like this, please like, hit the like button. I would so appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment on your experiences in the hotels. What do you like? What you don't like? What's been your experience? And um, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you very much and take care. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye.